I've designed this laptop stand that is bent from sheet metal. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to set up your Adobe Illustrator file for metal bending with Send Cut Send. It's important to note that a 3D file of your design may be included for reference, but it is not required when you upload the 2D pattern with your bend lines. To start, download the demo file below this video and open it in Adobe Illustrator. You'll see that I finished the flat pattern with all three flanges included. It's important to note the minimum and maximum flange length. Each flange length must be at least half an inch or four times the material thickness, whichever is greater. We'll need to create lines at each flange that needs to be bent. I'll zoom in on one flange, followed by activating the line segment tool from the tool panel. You'll find it nested with the rectangle tool by clicking and holding on the rectangle icon. We can then create straight lines for each flange that requires bending. I'll create one for the left flange and one for the short flange on top. Switch to the selection tool with the shortcut letter V to manipulate the length and position of the lines. You can also hold the shift key, which will help you extend the lines without reorienting them. To quickly recreate additional lines of the same size, hold down Option on Mac or Alt on Windows in addition to the shift key. This will allow you to duplicate the line segments while keeping them on the same axis. Before uploading to Send Cut Send, you'll want to set all bend lines to a color different from the rest of your design. I'll hold the shift key to select each of the three bend lines. We can then double click on the stroke color and select a new color. The color itself does not matter as long as it's not the same as the outer contour. The lines can remain a solid line, no need to make bend lines dashed. At this point, the direction of each bend does not matter. You'll be able to define the bend direction while getting a quote on our website. It's also important to note that bend lines should not be placed on a separate layer in Illustrator. The entire flat pattern, including the bend lines, should be on a single layer. In the Layers panel, you can select everything and drag it to the main layer. Then, simply drag any unwanted layers to the trash icon. Lastly, I also want to move the bend lines away from the base to help avoid tearing in the corners. In Illustrator, you can precisely move lines by first selecting the desired lines. Shift click multiple lines to move more than one at the same time. We can then type out the exact dimensions in the transform section of the properties pane. For example, I like to move the top bend line up 0.13 inches. Adobe Illustrator allows us to type out equations directly in the input fields. I can type out the minus symbol followed by 0.13 inches and the enter key. Note that the unit of measurement is not required as long as your preferences are set to inches. Notice how the lines precisely move based on values we input. This approach makes it much easier to be precise when compared to manually dragging lines around. I'll repeat this process for the remaining two lines, moving each of them over 0.15 inches towards the flange edge. Keep in mind that you can use the addition symbol to move the geometry in the other direction. You may also find that you need to resize the length of your line if its new location requires a different length. Double check that the length of each line is not sticking past the outer contour or crossing any unwanted geometry. Once the bend lines are in place, we need to consider the bend deduction. The overall length of sheet metal becomes stretched out when the sheet metal parts are bent. Bend deduction is unique to each material type, thickness, and bend angle, so we recommend using our bending calculator, which makes it easy to factor in bend deduction. Check out the calculator from the link below this video. Start by selecting the desired material. For example, I made this laptop stand with 5052 aluminum using a thickness of 0.1 inches. I'll enter 9.8 inches for the base length. The right flange length is 5.3 inches with the desired bend angle of 90 degrees. We can also add an additional flange for the left side, also set to 5.3 inches. The calculator then generates the total modified length for us. Back in Adobe Illustrator, we can copy and paste the total modified length to the width of our overall contour. You will then want to repeat the process for each direction the part includes bending. Once complete, your design is all set and ready for uploading. Be sure to check out our other video on exporting from Adobe Illustrator for laser cutting and reference our checklist to double check that your file meets our latest requirements.